welcome CCLG family, everybody online. Man, we're so glad that you are tuning in. This is our weekly update, week three. And uh, as you can tell, I'm not in uh, my office this time. I'm actually in my backyard of all places. And um, I picked this spot in particular because I thought, man, uh, this coming up Sunday is Palm Sunday. And uh, so it's kind of just a, you know, a visible symbol of what's coming up. And if you're anything like me right now, days are kind of running into each other. And it's like, man, can you believe that this coming Sunday is Palm Sunday? Um, no doubt it's probably going to be uh, one that's unique, uh, a little bit different than you've ever experienced or celebrated before. I know it is for us and our family, and uh, but we're all in this together. And so um, I wanted to check in and just see how everybody was doing. Uh, I know we're getting a lot of feedback. Um, for the most part, it seems like everybody's doing pretty well. Uh, we have been hearing of some uh, friends and distant uh, relatives and family members that are dealing uh, with the virus and, and some that have even uh, lost their lives and so our hearts and our prayers are still going out to everyone uh, for those of you that are all quarantined in just like we are and and having to, to stay indoors and seek shelter um, we're praying for you and hope that everything is going well I mean there's only so much if you're again if you're anything like me there's only so much you can look online and watch the news and see a lot of the, the bad news but one of the things that I've seen emerging is just uh, how people are really coming together. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but um, some of the stories that I've seen on social media and uh, news broadcasts, uh, and, and, and we're not even talking about uh, believers or Christian people, but we're talking, talking about all people that are kind of banding together in this and uh, just some really, really cool stories. Uh, um, one such uh, is actually uh, a celebrity. I mean, I, I don't know, again, if you've been seeing this, but celebrities and sports athletes uh, doing crazy, incredible things. Everything from sending private jets and planes to go pick up uh, medical supplies for doctors and nurses to even uh, actors like John Krasinski, who, uh, you know, and I'm just going to give a, a plug just because I thought it was so good, uh, started doing a news broadcast called Some Good News, SDN out of his home where he's just focusing on good news and sharing some of the great stories that are happening right now. And um, I hope that you're being able to, to see some of those things and get connected to some of the positivity um, that, that's out there. Um, uh, if you got a chance to watch this last Sunday, uh, we uh, broadcasted our uh, second uh, online service and um, uh, just, just the walk away principle we wanted everybody to walk away with was uh, the, the, the scripture out of Matthew 11, uh, uh, chapter 11, verse 28, where Jesus uh, is, is talking and he says uh, that we can come to him, uh, all of us that are burdened and weary, and we can find rest in him. And um, I hope that you've been able to do that during this time. And, and that's one of our big prayers is um, as we're just praying for this season, uh, you know, that, that we're all in, that we'll find rest in Jesus and trust in him. Um, you know, we've had a few questions that have been coming in. And so just to kind of give you an update uh, on, uh, you know, how you can be generous and how you can give. Um, we've been pointing everyone to, to make sure you check out uh, all of our social media platforms, Facebook, uh, um, Instagram, our, our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure that you're staying connected in those ways. You can also give, uh, you know, our Facebook page will take you to our, our website. Website will take you to our, our giving uh, site as well as our app. And uh, you can give online that way. Um, we've had so many cool stories of generosity coming out of this. And um, uh, j just one is uh, our preschool, through our preschool. We've had families that have uh, donated goods uh, to our preschool to help keep su you know, supplies for all of our kids that we currently have. M many uh, of our families that have essential workers where they're having to go to work and still need childcare. Um, you know, families and parents and people are coming together in ways that are just really, really awesome. And uh, we're so thankful for, for all the people that have been generous. I've been uh, getting letters into the church, which has been cool. And, uh, you know, people sending in uh, just monetary gifts to the church as well as tithes and offerings. And uh, that's been awesome to see and to hear people's stories in the midst of all this. And uh, even uh, we, had, we had a dear sister in the Lord pass away this last year. And um, uh, part of her ongoing uh, gifts to the church through her uh you know, just dedication to the Lord and her love for CCLG uh, has still been pouring into us. And it's just been awesome. I mean, it really has been. So I just want to share that with you um, and, and be looking for other ways that you can also uh, give generously to those around you. 
Um, our strategy going forward still is, is very much the same. We're, we're looking at all of our uh, online platforms to be able to connect with everyone. Uh, this next week, in fact, we're going to be uh, launching uh, some of our online Bible studies and uh, we're going to be using the Zoom app and the Zoom application that you can uh, connect with, whether it's with your phone or with the laptop or with the tablet. And uh, so uh, be, be watching for those uh, emails that are going out. I'll have the links and um, the addresses for that. Um, and so uh, we're excited about that. We're also excited about um, our student ministry has been also meeting weekly through the Zoom app. And uh, they've met now for two weeks in a row and it's been really cool to see the families and students getting connected and our youth pastor Chris being able to lead those. Um, many of you are still using our prayer wall on our church app and we're so thankful for that. That's one of the ways we can stay connected through prayer and be praying for each other. Um, please do that. Uh, let us know how we can pray for you. Let us know praises. Um, in fact, even as I'm doing this right now, I just got a uh, prayer update on someone that we've been praying for that's in surgery right now. And so uh, be, be making sure that you let us know how we can pray for you and also how God is answering your prayers. Um, we're still wanting you to get connected uh, through other ways as well that we uh, have as resources of our church, whether it's Right Now Media uh, and all of the uh, online Bible studies that you can have for individual, your family, your kids, um, uh, couples. I mean, it's just so many great resources through that. And you can uh, get connected to that through our website. Just tap, tap on the, uh, the Connect tab and uh, it will take you there. And then also, um, I've been noticing that uh, a lot of people are connecting through Uversion, and, um, which is a Bible app that you can download through the marketplace, whether you have an Android phone or um, uh, um, an Apple device, and, and you can get connected on there. So I just want to encourage you in that way. Uh, we are also going to be calling on everyone over the next couple of weeks as just a part of our uh, ongoing shepherding efforts and uh, just looking for ways that we can uh, serve uh, and reach out and, and pray for you. Uh, and so uh, hopefully you'll hear from, from someone, if it's not uh, myself or one of our other uh, shepherds of our church, uh, we're trying to do that. Um, we want you to stay connected to us. If many of you have already uh, by now uh, liked our Facebook page and um, you, uh, many of you have also sub subscribed to our YouTube page, uh, but if you haven't, make sure you do that. Um, uh, and I also just want to encourage you to uh, feel free to email me. Uh, you can email me at my name, will.warren at cclg.org. And, um, you know, if, again, if there's something that, that you would like me to pray individually for you um, or, or something that's kind of going on in your family, uh, I, I am doing uh, some online uh, counseling right now uh, with, with folks. And so if there's something that you would like to connect and uh, just need some more um, uh, just prayer counsel for, be sure to do that as well. Um, and continue to pray uh, for everyone and, and look for those that are vulnerable around you. Uh, what we have found is that there are people within our church family right now that are still very much disconnected. And, um, uh, you know, and, and when I mean disconnected, I mean, you know, they, they, uh, some of our older members of our church that don't have uh, computers in their home, they don't have uh, smartphones or tablets. And um, so, so all they have is literally just a, a landline or a cell phone. And, and so uh, just be, you know, uh, since we're not able to gather uh, corporately together on a weekly basis, maybe just ask God to lay on your heart some people that you may call on and just check on during this time. Uh, man, like I said, we're praying for you. Uh, we're looking forward to this Palm Sunday uh, as we continue our series from the ashes. Um, and I hope that you can tune in and watch and uh, uh, if you're watching through Facebook, create a watch party and invite people to come along with you. If you're uh, watching through our YouTube channel, through our website or our church app, uh, not only subscribe to it, but encourage some other people around you to subscribe to it as well. Um, as we're heading into Easter, which is only two Sundays away, I can't believe it, but it is. Uh, and so we're looking forward to being able just to worship and connect together, even though we're all separate, but connecting online uh, through these digital platforms. So. Uh, man, we love you. Uh, let us know how we can continue to encourage you and pray for you. And uh, we'll be checking in again here real soon. God bless. Have a great day.